You've got an expired. We all know that the number one reasons that listings do not sell is because they are overpriced. Hi there, it's Kevin Ward, the founder of Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, helping you get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And today's objection is how to handle an overprice expired when they know they were overpriced and they go like, okay, so all I gotta do is reduce the price and anybody can sell it, right? So here's a, here's a question. It was actually a question from one of my coach at one of my, uh, on one of my online courses. Uh, from one of our Yes Masters. They said, most, of the expired, uh, ex most expired listings in my market are usually expired because they were overpriced. I love your response to, we are going to use the same agent again, but I find that when we get to pricing and them realizing that it was overpriced, I get different variations of, well, I'm just gonna lower the price. I'm just gonna lower it to that price and I'm just gonna use the same agent again because the agent strategy was not the problem. The agent strategy was not what needed to be changed. It was the price or they say, I'm just going to lower it to the uh, lower it to that price and I'll just sell it myself or anyone could sell it at that price. How would you handle these objections? All right. So that's the scenario. You've got an expired. We all know that the number one reasons that listings do not sell is because they are overpriced. Now, there's so much wrong with this. And the question's great, but there's so much wrong with the thinking that you run into when you deal with a seller who is an amateur seller, which means they don't have a clue, not only about why a house didn't sell, but they also don't have a clue about how to get top dollar for a house. So in the first place, and I'm gonna give you some objection handlers in this, but I'm also gonna give you some explanation that's very, very important. In the first place, there is a whole lot more to getting a house sold for top dollar than just pricing it right. Okay, so number one is there's more that a seller wants than just getting it sold. They almost always want it to get sold for the most money, right? So they don't just wanna sell it, they wanna sell it for the most money. That's why they're going like, well, if, I'm, if it's overpriced, I gotta reduce it. I can use my same agent again, or I can use any agent to do it for that matter, or I don't even need an agent, I can just do it myself. Because their thinking is that, that well, if the price was a problem, then I fixed the price and that's the problem because they don't realize that strategy, they don't realize that skill, the skill of the agent actually matters. So here are just some of the things you need to understand going into this. This is, a lot of this is stuff we train in, in my advanced training with my coaching members and all of this. But number one is that it's more to getting a house sold and getting it sold for top dollar, there's more than price. It requires the right preparation, it requires the right pre-marketing, it right, requires the right market positioning, and it requires the right pricing to get the most money for a house on the front end. However, getting a seller the most money for the house is not just about what you do on the front end. In other words, it's not just about pricing and marketing. You see, it's what happens after you get an offer. That's the second phase is what happens after you get an offer and during the offer negotiation and even what the, the agent has done pre-offer to position the house to get the best offers and to then get it once you get the offer to negotiate that offer to the highest sales price. And number three, even more than that, is just as critical is what happens post marketing and post negotiation after the offer is accepted by the seller. You still have a lot of ways that a seller can lose money. And it takes a skilled agent who understands how to do stuff on the front end and prepare the house for the market and how to prepare the seller for the pricing and all of that that protects the seller's equity after the house goes under contract, after it's pending or escrow's opened. Once you're in, the, you're in the inspection phase and all that kind of stuff, there's still tons of money that a seller can lose. And a great agent knows not only how to get it priced right at the beginning, how to sell, get it to sell, but also who knows how to protect the seller's equity on the back end so that you get the most money in your pocket. All of that is simply to say that the question that this, this agent is running into, the objections, is all comes down to one idea, and that is that pricing is the only thing that matters. And it is far from being the only thing that matters. And if you're an agent who just thinks you price it right and it's gonna get the seller top dollar, then you, that just, 
That's, that is amateur thinking, all right? So all of this is advanced training. I do this in my coaching, is helping agents understand that there's way more than just price, okay? Now let's just, but however, that's the objection, so let's just deal with the objection in this video so you get a great objection handler for them saying, well, if it was just the price, then we're just gonna lower the price and go back with the same agent because the agent did a great job. They did, their strategy wasn't the problem, it was just overpriced, so we're gonna just lower the price and go back with the same agent, or we're gonna do it ourselves, or anybody could do it, or whatever. All right, so here's the way you handle that objection. So first, so I, that makes sense, so let me just, I'm just curious, why was it overpriced? I mean, whose fault was it that it was overpriced to begin with? Now, a lot of times the agents are going to say, well, it was, uh, the seller is going to say, well, it was my fault. You know, this, the, the, the agent showed us the comps. They tried to tell us and we wouldn't listen and we did it our own way. So one potential issue is the seller goes like, it was our fault. The agent told us, so they were right. We were wrong. So now we're just going to stay with them because after all, if we had listened to them at the beginning, then we had got it right the first time. So how do you respond to that? So, so let me get this straight. If you went to a doctor and he or she misdiagnosed you or gave you the wrong prescription that actually caused you to get sicker because he wanted to follow your advice instead of his own expertise and his own training, I'm just wondering how professional and how skilled would you think that doctor was after they misdiagnosed you and mistreated you because they followed your advice instead of their own training and expertise? Does that make sense? I mean, hello, think about it. If you're a professional, why in the world would you go to a doctor and be okay with them misdiagnosing, misdiagnosing you on purpose just to keep you happy? Doctors don't do that. Amateurs do that. Scam artists do that. But professionals don't do that. Now, I'm being a little passionate here because I want you to get it so that you can stand up to this, these stupid, the stupid objections you get and not go like, oh, you're right. I don't know what to say. I'm stumped. Here's the reason you're stumped. It's because you're an amateur. Sorry to be so blunt, but I just think in the industry, you, there's too many agents out there who get their license and think they can just go out there and make it. And you need to be understanding that for you to understand how to win, and especially in a market full of disruption, you're gonna have to master some stuff. That's why I have a company called Yes Masters. We train agents how to be able to not only overcome these objections, but how to get better results so they don't have the objections. All right, so now let's go to the second angle of the objection, and that is if you say, well, so I'm curious, who's, whose fault was it that it was overpriced to begin with? And they go like, well, it was, the agent told us you know, I mean, they just, I think the agent just made an honest mistake. They thought it would sell for more. We agreed with them. We thought it'd sell for more. And obviously the price was wrong. Okay, so now we got a situation where the, the, sell, the agent believed that the high price would get it sold and they were right. Okay, so, so let me get this straight. Let me ask it this way. If you were sick and you went to a doctor and they misdiagnosed you and gave you a treatment that actually made you sicker. And you, you thought it was the right treatment, you went along with it, and, and, and they thought it was the right treatment too, but they made a mistake. And they misdiagnosed you and you got sicker. Why would you go back to the same doctor again after um, you had to go to another doctor to even figure out what went wrong? I mean, does that make sense? Hmm. I mean, look, that means you had a seller, an agent who didn't know how to price a house right. And even worse is if it took them four or five or six months to figure it out. Why would you trust an agent who misdiagnosed? You wouldn't trust a doctor who did it. And you're talking about a $2 million asset or a $500,000 asset and you're, and you've got an agent who didn't know it. Here's, here's the deal. The reason that every one of my listings sell for top dollar is because I realized that the pricing of a home when it first goes on the market is too important in terms of getting you the most money in your pocket to ever take a chance on mispricing it. I'm telling you overpricing is the fastest way for you, Mr. Seller, to lose money. Because all it does is it makes the house sit on the market. People start looking at, and looking at it and going like, what's wrong with that house? I call it the WWWTH syndrome. What's wrong with that house? Because it's not selling. And if they know it's overpriced, it's even worse.
So when people do come in and make offers, they tend to make low ball offers because they know it's overpriced and they're, if they're gonna get it, they gotta really come in low to get, find out if you're realistic. It hurts you when you do that. And even worse, this is just another angle, even worse would be an agent who will list it at the wrong price just to make you happy and get the listing knowing that it was overpriced at the beginning, right? I mean, wouldn't that bother you? It, I mean, that would be like the doctor who misdiagnosed you on purpose knowing they were putting you at risk. Why would you want to go back with an agent like that? You wouldn't, would you? You see, the reason I every one of my listings sell and every one of my listings sell for the most money is because I understand strategies on both the front end of making sure we price it right, that we position it right, we pre-market it right, we, we, we uh, prepare the house right, and we do all the things so that on the, on the front end we get the best offers, in the middle I negotiate to get you the best price, and on the back end I protect your equity so we don't lose money during the inspection phase when a lot of sellers lose thousands and often tens of thousands of dollars because their agent didn't know how to protect their equity. That's what I do. If you want the most money in your pocket, which I'm assuming you do, right? That's why you want to talk to me. All right, so I hope that helps you guys. Understand, there's a, we covered a lot of stuff in one objection. I wish it was just as simple as, okay, here's the objection, here's the answer. And it's just not that simple. It's, it's about mastery. And so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Post your comments, questions down below. I'd love to get that feedback. If, you have not, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel and um, commit to mastery. Check us out, Yes Masters, real estate success training, yesmasters.com. Come to one of our events, sign up for one of our courses, get training so that you can master getting the best results and in so doing, you'll master getting yes.